a dog training career can open up a world of opportunity. You might be interested in running obedience classes, running some puppy schools, you might do search and rescue, customs, or you might even end up with a TV show all about dogs. Chris though, you've got an exciting career. What was it that made you decide to get into dog training? You know, Laura, as a child, I've always been fascinated about a behavior, particularly animal behavior and human behavior mm -hmm. and how they correspond and work together. And so my lifelong quest has been getting into dogs and uh, working out what drives them and, what, and it's just fascinating for me. So hence, it's been a 36 year long career. And what exactly do you do with dogs now? We'll be focused most of our energy into helping the community, but then a lot of it's in, into uh, detection dog training and detection dog searches for narcotics and explosives. We breed Dobermans and German Shepherds so that uh, the general community can access them and also for other government agencies as well. Okay, well I'm excited because we're about to see this work in action. You ready to go? We are ready. All right, Chris, so we've got these canisters here and within this is a scent somewhere, isn't there? There is. In one of those compartments there's an odour and in this particular case we have what's called a cocktail mm -hmm. which has all the narcotics odours for this dog. Okay. It's heroin, LSD, cocaine, amphetamines and so on. Wow, all right. And it's amongst everyday items as well. We've got some corn and rocks in there. Yeah, and we need all those environmental distractors so that we can teach the animal that certain components mm -hmm. or certain uh, environments provide that odour that it has to identify. And okay. we can actually demonstrate that to you now. Oh, all right, so we've got Michelle and Wacko. They're ready to go. Come on, Wacko. Oh, what's happening here? And so she indicates it by standing completely <laughs> still. Have a look at the tail. It's the first time I've seen her still. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, and so in this awesome. case, we can actually send the dog back in. Mm -hmm. And the, the ultimate thing is that the dog gets a reward for it. And the reward for her is the ball. And yes. so as soon as she hits it, she'll stiffen up. Yes. And she hears a click. She's waiting. Yeah, she's waiting. Uh, and yeah. that means come and get your reward. All right, I'm going to swap this around. What happens? I'm going to quick, come on. Which one? What am I swapping? This little canister here. So you're welcome to swap that I canister and stick it somewhere away else. With me, should I? So stick it in here. Stick it in. Stick, stick it in down. The, that's stick right. it in the last one. All right, this one in the last yeah, one. This yeah, last one. Yeah. Tissues and everything. Yeah, in here and then so we also want you to do it. something special. Ah. We want you to touch every entry point because oh, yes, we don't. Scent. Yeah, she will know that it's yeah. your scent. Yeah. Okay. So, so I don't want to not give her any clues. No clues at all. Here we go, wacko. I'm all over it. Excellent. So how about we go again? And there she goes. She stands still until she hears the clicker and she gets rewarded. And so Wacko is from a pound. She is. How long did it take you to train her to do this? Well, one of the things that uh, dogs need is a hell of a lot of repetitions. Mm -hmm. And so um, because Michelle does this, trains this dog twice a day, we have done it in about six months. But to get it perfected takes yes. about a year. Wow, so this just goes to show though, I mean, Wacko was from a pound, she's a rescue dog, and now she has this amazing career. So it really does go to show that there are all these beautiful dogs out there that just don't need a lot of hard work. I mean, for goodness sake, it took her, what, six months to be able to do a job like this. Uh, I just want to take her home, can I have her? No.